walks and shakes are formed. Walking, as I've already discussed, is the bending or twisting out of shape of wood, and shakes are a sort of cracks in timber. Now we have two related terms: free moisture and bound moisture. The moisture in timber can be present either in the cell cavities or in the cell walls. If the moisture is present in the cell cavities, it is known as free moisture, and if the moisture is present in cell walls, it is known as bound moisture. If this is the magnified view of a section of wood, these are the cell cavities. The water that is contained here in the cell cavities, it is known as free water or free moisture, and the water that is present here on the cell walls, it is known as bound moisture. When timber containing moisture is exposed to the atmospheric conditions, it starts losing its moisture content. The free water is evaporated first, and the point at which the cell cavities no longer contain free water, that point is known as fiber saturation point. After the fiber fiber saturation point has been reached, the tendency of timber to shrink appears, and the shrinkage of timber is more or less related to the loss in bound moisture. So, when the fiber saturation point has been reached, the timber starts shrinking. And now the shrinkage of timber is proportional to the loss in bound moisture. Next is determination of moisture content. The moisture content of timber can be determined by using a formula. Here P is the percentage moisture content of timber. W1 is the original weight of timber or the weight of unseasoned timber. W2 is the oven dry weight of timber. The oven dry method of determining moisture content is a standard method, but nowadays electronic instruments are also used for the determination of moisture content. Next is objects of seasoning. The seasoning of timber is carried out to achieve the following objects. Firstly, to allow timber to burn readily if used as fuel. Obviously, if the timber is to be used as fuel, it should not contain moisture. Secondly, to decrease the weight of timber so as to decrease the cost of transportation and handling to impart hardness stiffness strength and better electrical resistance to timber next to increase the resisting power of timber because most of the causes of decay of timber are more or less related to the moisture next to maintain the shape and size of timber articles which are expected to remain unchanged for a long time for example if we expect this door to remain unchanged for a long time it should not contain moisture because if it contains moisture it will tend to shrink or crack or warp and its shape would be distorted next to make timber fit for receiving treatment of paints preservatives and varnishes to make timber safe from the attacks of fungi and insects because fungi and insects have an affinity for moisture if moisture won't be there they won't react to make timber suitable for cooking, that is, joining two members of timber with the help.